you're just like you need to make sure that you did so <laughs> you need to make sure that he's a doctor and like you here i was traveling like you know i had dates on top of dates like <laughs> like Hey brownies, welcome back to my channel. So you guys, I am starting a new segment on this channel and it's going to be called She's Favored Fridays. You guys know me, I love to talk. I love to do a bunch of different discussions. I love to do chit chat, get ready with me. I love to just discuss anything related to life, related to like what's going on in my life as well. Um, but I really wanted this to be a space where we can come together and we can really honestly discuss topics that we are going through but also discuss how we can get through it i just want this to be a place that we can keep it real you know just hash everything out and literally come out on the other side being strong just having the courage to really show up as who god has created you to be and that is what my channel pretty much is all about I call you guys brownies because you're beautifully made, <laughs> you're real, you're original, you're wonderfully made, you're natural, you're important, and you're educated on all facets. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get into it. I got my little wine glass and you guys, today, <laughs> today starts the first day of me not drinking. <laughs> but i actually have been doing pretty well like this whole i guess it's only been like two months now i mean now we're in the third month it's march now but i've really been cutting back like excessively because i used to really down it but now i'm like okay i don't drink as excessively as i used to but i really felt that i shouldn't be drinking like at all <laughs> because Honestly, for me, I don't know about you guys, but for me, drinking allows me to not feel alone. I'm kind of going through a season of rebuilding myself, really establishing myself in rooms and knowing who I am down to my core. I've really been spending a lot of time by myself. I've been moving myself away from everything that I used to serve before, which we'll definitely get into. <laughs> But um, I was like, okay, I'm now alone and I've realized that I would drink just so I wouldn't feel that feeling of being alone. It's a beautiful thing to enjoy your own company um, and not to actually fake it, like to actually really enjoy your own company and learn more about yourself in the process. Tapping into what makes me me and learning through those processes, like it has really opened up so many doors for me spiritually and outwardly as well so i'm just like okay like let's keep it up <laughs> um so yeah drink some water so get you guys some water but if you would like to have yourself you know a cute little hard seltzer red little baby wine like i don't know you know let's keep it healthy okay so cheers not my glass looking cheers to you for being amazing and being beautiful and let's get started i really wanted to start this conversation about dealing with being alone but also being alone because you're choosing to be alone so this topic is just going to be about being single i'm going to discuss a little bit also about just like dating hypergamy and just like <laughs> the feminine journey I don't want to make this too long. I definitely want to have a more in-depth video um, discussing everything to the T. But I really wanted to just kind of highlight on how 2022 was honestly the worst year of my life. <laughs> and um, to other people that may have been watching me and seeing whatever I was posting on social media, um, it probably looked like I was enjoying the life. <laughs> Like I was out here, I was traveling, like, you know, I had dates on top of dates, like, <laughs> like, you know, I had, I had, <laughs> I had a roster, okay? Like, let's just keep going on it. Like, I, I had a roster, I had a roster of um, some men that were honestly 
very nice very respectful then i had ones that were just you know <laughs> you know just trying to you know do what they needed to do i'm giving my time to people that truly don't really care and i'm also mentally having in the back of my mind that like i'm not really here to date for love like i'm trying to date because i'm trying to level up i'm trying to like have this lifestyle that I see all the girlies having, <laughs> being flown out, being able to enjoy themselves. Like they're <laughs> in St. Martin, like they're in all these different places, right? Enjoying themselves. And I'm like, okay, like that is the energy that I need for myself. And I'll just give you guys a, a little background story. Like the type of person that I am, I don't really date around. Like I usually always like to be in a committed relationship and I will only speak to that one person. So um, my past relationship, we were together for like several years and I really wanted to explore <laughs> just like dating. And to be honest, like I really started to watch a lot of like YouTube videos about being in your feminine in your feminine <laughs> i will also watch a lot of videos about hypergamy and dating up and i already had that in my mind because you know being in a nigerian household that's all that they teach you they're just like you need to make sure that you did talk <laughs> you need to make sure that he's a doctor <laughs> like you can... <laughs> what are you doing talking to a man that makes less than you like oh what are you doing uh, drop him mm -hmm. oh, oh what did he study mm -hmm. oh okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so Oh, you said he didn't, he wasn't a doctor. He wasn't a lawyer. He wasn't an engineer. Oh, drop him. <laughs> so I already had that in my mind, but I wanted that plus more. I was like, okay, like I want to know how it feels to like have a roster and just like, just enjoy, just enjoy life, soft life, soft life. Like, you know? have been pay my bills like per <laughs> you know that's what I wanted so I was just dating and I was watching I was watching certain women on YouTube I'm not gonna say their names but I was watching a couple of them on YouTube that would honestly give you pointers on how to come across these men like when you're outside <laughs> like taking yourself out to eat and you know what I mean? So a lot of the stuff that I was paying attention to was not stuff that I should have been intaking. And it honestly led me down a path of meeting a lot of um, older men that were kind of like predators. A lot of men that um, were very money hungry and that was like the personality. So I... I literally found myself in a situation where um, they were kind of just like taking advantage of me and then it honestly shifted the way that I carried myself because I'm usually just this nice happy positive person but after being like <laughs> just burned by like literally just every single person I was talking to I was like oh okay then I guess it's time for me to like be one of those girls like let me be let me try to be <laughs> a biage and um yeah like attempt to do this like let me manipulate them and let me you know let me try <laughs> and yeah that didn't work out because <laughs> i care too much and because i care too much even about like even when it comes to the worst of worst i would care too much and honestly after a while of like going through all of that i was like okay i don't want to go through this anymore and there were also like other people that actually truly liked me but i didn't see it because i was just in this whole mental state of just like trying to put myself first because i was so used to putting other people first <laughs> so you know i had to honestly let go of that and that was at the end of like 2022 like i was just like in and out like traveling coming back traveling <laughs> coming back going to different restaurants and just like spending a hundred dollars a hundred and twenty dollars on a bill just because i had the money to do it literally living in so much gluttony where i'm like this isn't the life that i should be having this is not the lifestyle for me and i felt so unfulfilled i felt 
honestly embarrassed of my walk but i would have so many people so many girls messaging me and just being like oh my gosh like you're living it up blah blah and i'm like but <laughs> i'm really not like these people are mean to me like these people i'm also being mean to them too and there's just so many stories that i definitely want to get into but um some of the some of these guys that i was dating um a lot of you guys would look at and be like oh yeah that's clearly a sugar daddy <laughs> um or some of them were actually a very very upstanding rich businessmen but you know they had a whole different life outside of what they showed to me and what they showed to the public so they were literally living a whole double life honestly when i say like a lot of them were predators they were honestly predators i honestly had to just like drop all of that at the end of 2022 i remember you know the countdown was coming down it was like 10 9 8 and i literally still had some of these men like blowing up my phone saying like hey babe like i want to see you like uh, like i had <laughs> i'm not gonna talk too much about my business but um literally at the end of that year like i literally could have had everything that i wanted like i wanted the soft life i wanted a man to take care of my bills i wanted a man i like I wanted all of that you know I wanted that soft life um but personally I was like this is not the way that I wanted to go about it um because there's nothing wrong with wanting that luxurious lifestyle nothing wrong with like wanting a lifestyle of ease and wanting to date up but I feel like you know your heart has to be postured in a certain way and you also need to do the work for yourself where you're like you're attracting men that can provide that for you but you are also a woman of that class <laughs> mr ghana i will call him mr ghana i have mr ghana in my phone and he was talking about how he was about to bring me to saint martin what because he had a work trip and he was like yeah i need you to take out like take three weeks off from whatever you're doing and i'm just like this is not the lifestyle <laughs> this is not what i want mr ghana was literally telling me even weeks before then he was like you don't need to work anymore i was like in and out like <laughs> i was just trying to get by pretty much um so technically i wasn't really working <laughs> he he was just like yeah like i could take care of everything for you like if you would just actually give me that chance but you know you have so many boyfriends so <laughs> you <laughs> you won't have time for me and I remember like just literally ready to just be that quote unquote like stay at home girlfriend be that girlfriend for him just so I can have that life of ease and dude when I tell you when that countdown went down I literally quickly blocked and deleted this man um yeah I blocked and deleted him I literally had to go and speak to um this one guy that really truly cared about me but at the same time i knew that his heart wasn't in the right place because of how things were kind of progressing in, in our relationship so i just like i let go of everybody even like the little stranglers that would pop up in the dms like i let go of everything and i remember just literally turning my face to god because that whole entire year my 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 whole face was turned fully away from god and i was just like lord like i'm so sorry for everything that i've done i'm so sorry for the way i've been living my life like i am not happy like <laughs> i don't like what i see in a mirror i don't even look at myself in a mirror like i don't feel confident and i literally told him at that moment i was like i give up this life like i give up <laughs> whatever i've been doing and um just to give you guys some context like it's not like i do not know christ like i do know him um i reconfirmed my faith back in january <laughs> january 17 2015 that is when i reconfirmed my faith and that was a big deal for me back then because i was like okay like <laughs> i don't really know 
god like the way i thought i did that whole entire time i was in college so you know i was still out there <laughs> i was out you know i was out there i was out, I was, out. I was struggling so i was trying to live a life um and trying to be something that i thought i should be rather than allowing god to actually mold me into the woman that i'm to become and i also found it really difficult during that time to let go of my habits and to let go of my routines because um i just i guess i just wasn't ready to let go and i felt like there was still more to explore of this earth and of my fleshy desires like i was like yeah no there's still there's still so much like i still have yet to actually have a boyfriend during this time because i only had like you know like boyfriends but they weren't really boyfriends so i was like i really want to know how it feels to have a man that actually really likes me <laughs> so you know spent like five years ended up spending like five years with my boyfriend um shortly after then and yeah even during that time it was like i felt like i wasn't being me i wasn't really truly living in my truth um yeah up until literally yeah the countdown of the end of 2022 so um i literally just say all this to just um explain that like those of you guys that may be trying to let go of your old life um you're probably like upset with how life has been going or your story is just like me like you know try to <laughs> you try to go out here in these streets and you realize it's, it's is not it okay um like i just want to like let you know that everything is good like do not feel like anything that you have done whether that's sex whether that's drugs whether that's <laughs> dealing with each other daddies like yeah i'm just saying like anything that you feel like is the worst thing in a whole entire world is not but i'm just saying whatever whatever problems that you have whatever issues that you have it's not anything that god will look at and turn his face with so much disgust because he does not do that um and when i realized that and i was like okay like i'm done living for the world <laughs> i tell you guys like the past january and february we are now march like my life has my life has shifted like my whole life has shifted there's things of course there's things of course that i have struggled with um places that i have seen god really come and transform and get rid of things and um just be there for me because dude living here by myself um and also not having any friends because i live in jersey now so like I don't have any friends and it's difficult because I'm like I just want <laughs> friends and this is something that I've always been wanting I'm like I want friends I want friends I want friends like dude if you go back to a couple just a couple of videos before um I was in my a whole different apartment when I was doing my MBA and I was still saying the same thing but my mindset was different because i wasn't allowing myself to be in spaces and i wasn't allowing myself to tap in and grow be pliable in different situations like i wasn't learning through my struggles i wasn't um acknowledging and actually finding strength in the things that i feel like are broken and are remnants like the things and i'm going to tell you guys this right now like whatever you look at and you feel like it is broken it's going to be the thing that's going to bring you to breakthrough like i'm not playing with you like listen it is the thing that's going to bring you to breakthrough and when you find strength in that and you actually look at it you acknowledge it and you say like oh people pleasing <laughs> you are the thing that has kept me bound for how many years but guess what it's broken from this day forward and you keep on showing up in that whether that's poverty whether that's you know financial struggles like dude like like i said i was living living in gluttony 
and because i was living in gluttony like i was over here overeating <laughs> i was over here you know overspending just <clears throat> doing the most and it literally put me in a place where i was going through a lot of financial struggles and god really made me see like this is where your money is going <laughs> we need to knock this down and in the middle of knocking it down i want you to start investing back into yourself and i feel like that's where i'm at right now where i'm like i'm no longer living in god's um like don't get me wrong we're all living in blessings but god's blessing can be applied to your own actions like whatever you're able to do and whatever you're able to put in and believe in he's going to literally take that and multiply it and when i tell you there's been so many times that i i felt like i was about to lose my mind so many times where i felt like things were not gonna work out and i would just believe just i would just be like okay like you know what i can do it <laughs> it's gonna be a struggle to save this amount but like I, I need to try and do that if that means cutting down on my like whatever i'm buying grocery wise whether that's you know not going and driving to go and hang out with people like just okay i'm gonna sit right here and save my money and do whatever i can do so i can get to that goal and i did that and i'm like i wouldn't have been able to do that by myself because if it was me i would have been out here swipe 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 swipe, swipe. <laughs> you know so and that's all i'm saying you guys i wanted to speak on my experience with that uh and just like really show you guys that you this is never too late it's never too late to make a change it is never too late to do something differently than how you've been going about whatever you're going through whatever issues you may be going through just even when it comes to being single and um trying to find purpose during like this time like i'm gonna say like think about something that you love think about something that you enjoy doing um that puts a smile to your face i mean i'm thinking about it because i'm doing it <laughs> um think about it right and actually start envisioning yourself in that like say okay you're a stylist or you have an eye for fashion you love fashion like start seeing yourself like styling one of your favorite celebrities <clears throat> being able to travel the world because you're doing that passion put that in your mind and when i tell you you can have that happen because you thought of it and because you're feeling it and then the thing that will complete everything and most importantly is looking to god and being like god is this in your will i really been like practicing as of lately and also just like enjoying the feeling of being single like don't be single and entertaining the men's and the, you know the man that in your dms like don't do that you know if they start sliding in you, you can be cordial but like don't be entertaining it with hopes of getting validation from them like just do you do you and allow yourself to grow look at like the problems that you are facing in your life and ask for god for direction in that so you can actually start slowly taking off the things that like that used to be an issue for you you are actually honing in and looking at it and being like okay like this is what i can do and then god will look at that and be like okay you're putting your you know you're putting your feet in it but now i'm about to actually give you give you some insight on how to really transform that whole thing and maybe you know you've already been through the healing you've already been through the singleness and you're ready for dating then make sure that whoever you are giving your time to they respect you like i feel like that is definitely one of the number one things and if you're a woman like me that's you know definitely after god's own heart you definitely want to make sure that that man is <clears throat> he is a god-fearing man a true god-fearing man like he listens to what he he listens to what god tells him to do and 
he doesn't just say like i'm a christian and like that's it like and i need to see the fruits of your labor like i need to see like what's your testimony like i need to see because when i see that you have truly given your life to christ you're not walking in the same way as your bros and all of them are walking same thing with you as a woman like you're not walking the same way that you know other people are walking you have your own stride you have your own agenda and thus you have your own purpose and you're going to be so focused with that that you don't really have time to be looking at anything else like that's where your focus is so i feel like if you're ready to be dating and you feel led to start dating like make sure that that man mm -hmm, that he's focused <laughs> he focused and if he's giving attention to you like dude make sure that attention is good attention okay but definitely want to speak on this like a little bit more because i just i love speaking on relationships all that stuff but definitely give me some some comments down below let me know what you guys think of this whole new segment um but we're definitely going to be doing it on fridays every single friday um so make sure you guys follow me follow my instagram my tiktok and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys all in my next video stay awesome and stay blessed i love you guys